Could the Snyderverse actually be making a return? It almost kind of seems uh, kind of like a fanciful idea at this point. I mean, it seems like, you know, after we got Zack Snyder's version of Justice League, the one that fans have been calling for all along, it seemed like it was the reward that fans have been guided. It seemed like the best that fans could ask for at that point. And it, at the, it seemed like DC had turned the page, though. It seemed like they had rewarded fans for their due diligence, but there seemed to be this kind of unspoken word that, yes, we will give you what you want with, you know, this version, this updated version of Justice League, Zack Snyder's version of Justice League, but... This is it. This is it. This is all you're getting. Now it looks like that might be not the end of it. We might actually be getting a return to the Snyderverse. Unbelievable. I'm actually kind of shocked by this. I really am. And I'm pleased by this. I really am. Uh, and you know what? I'll be honest. When Years ago when I watched Justice League in theaters, not the Snyder one. But when I watched that one, I thought, what utter garbage is this? I didn't really think... I was not really impressed by Zack Snyder's work. Um, you know, in previous versions of the DCU, uh, DCEU universe. Um, so, I'm not like a super Zack Snyder guy. So, when everybody was calling for this updated, you know, you know, the, the, you know, the Snyder cut. I was like, ah, it's probably not going to be that much better. I saw it. It was a million times better than what I could have ever imagined. One of the best comic book films I've ever seen, if not the best comic book film I've ever seen. Granted, he had four hours to work with. I don't know if that film would have been great if he would have had two hours to work with. Um, so, I mean... I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I still am. I'm excited that fans are getting what they want by a return to the Snyderverse, maybe. But at the same time, I'm like, we might be getting what we want, but maybe we're getting ourselves into something that uh, they like the hype train might just be nothing more than hype. We got to see a four hour cut, but would the two hour cut have been as that great? Probably not. Uh, that we would have been, you know, Zack Snyder would have felt like a savior for DC in any form or fashion. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if his Steiner verse uh, is necessarily the saving grace for DC. I don't know. We'll have to see. So I'm kind of middle of the road on this one. I really am. But at the same time, I'm willing to give it a shot. I really am. Uh, and I, it's the best thing. I, the Snyder Cut was the best thing that DC has going for it at this point. So hey, I'm willing to give it a shot. It says the return of the Snyderverse could be right around the corner or at least the preparation for it, it, it is. A scoop suggests this DCEU continuity uh, will be restored and the announcement will be made right away. Uh, YouTuber and Snyder DC analyst Warstu uh, says several sources tell him Warner Brothers Discovery uh, will announce at San Diego Comic Con in the brand's first appearance there, there since the pandemic hit that the Snyderverse and most everything that goes with it is coming back. He claims the studio will restore everything leading out of Zack Snyder's Justice League, which includes the completion of the pitch trilogy in Justice League sequels 1 and 2, an option for the Ben Affleck Batman movie, which... Ah, that'd be cool. And even Man of Steel 2. Um, 
Which is kind of, I don't know how that works because they've been trying to get rid of Henry Cavill for a long time. I even read an article today where they was trying to get rid of Henry Cavill since like 2017. So I don't know how that necessarily works. Uh, this means, if true, Affleck's appearance in The Flash isn't a one-off cameo that wraps up his run under the cow and that the red cape uh, does still belong to Henry Cavill. What's more, it's said there will allegedly be a payoff to all the rumors and Cavill will reprise his role as Superman in the upcoming Black Adam film. Uh, a question lingers as uh, to if Big Blue's appearance in the film is a tease that doesn't show his face or if Cavill will appear in full. But War Stu hears it will be the latter scenario and Cavill will be making a comeback this year. He knows he isn't 100% sure, but if it does happen, Warstu predicts WBD will break uh, the internet and overtake Marvel with all the buzz they generate, albeit only in the short term. He also postulates the surge in popularity will help the company run away from the Amber Heard Ezra Miller controversies which are going to further uh, which are going further south every day. It's true they are all still in the Cyberverse as Mara and Flash. However, Wars 2 reminds his viewers they can always be replaced. Uh, and you know, I don't really think that's a big deal to be honest with you. I don't think anybody is going to be up in arms with either one of them being re replaced. I don't think anybody was super excited about Ezra Miller being the Flash or care who Mara is, to be honest with you. Um, we know that the case with Miller and a change is in the progress. By every account, WBD is done with him uh, as, as soon as they can make some money and wipe their hands of the Flash. With her, things are a bit trickier. Each new report says varying things about her status, but it is a fact stated under oath in court that Walter Hamada uh, tried to get rid of her and as her reputation diminishes, little doubt is left her days are numbered. Regardless, uh, according to Warstu, the Snyderverse doesn't need them. They aren't as vital as the real key components to the Snyderverse and that Zack Snyder. Uh, i.e. it's not as much the stars or even the DCIP. It's what he does with it that the restoration movement wants to return. It might, uh, and the announcement of such may uh, come as soon as this weekend, worse through uh, sources claim. Should this not come to pass, then WBD may wait until the next DC fandom, which hasn't been talked about much lately. Uh, no matter where uh, it happens, the uh, course correction is still going to take years between Snyder's work at Netflix and WBD uh, getting the current slate of DC movies released without further incident. Alright, um, I got a problem with some of these things. Uh, simply because Henry Cavill, I, I don't know if DC is, and Warner Brothers is really set on Henry Cavill being Superman. I think they really want to move on from that. So I don't know, that part of the rumor I don't necessarily feel comfortable with. Uh, I do think, like it said, you know, Amber Heard, Ezra Miller, easy replacements on that part. So that part doesn't bother me. I do believe that they could run Ben Affleck back. I don't think that would be a problem. I don't know if he would be up for it or not. Probably. Probably. And I don't think fans would necessarily have a problem with that either. Um, you know, I did a video on it the other day about Keanu Reeves possibly being interested in playing an older version of Batman. That would be awesome uh, if they did something like that. Um, uh, I think, you know, it's Ben Affleck's older Batman until he gives that up. Unless Michael Keaton 
really wants that role, uh, which I don't think Michael Keaton is necessarily going to, you know, be asking for that role anytime soon. I think he'll make an appearance in The Flash, and I think that'll be it uh, as for him. Um, but I don't know. I mean, there's, there's some things in this that I believe, and then there's other things I don't believe. Like I said, I don't necessarily believe the Henry Cavill thing. I think if they run it back, I think it's going to be with a different actor than Henry Cavill. Uh, as as that, I don't know how they could how things have made up so well between Zack Snyder and everyone else. Like they were so surefire of Snyderverse done, and then all of a sudden they're like, no, actually we're going to go down this route. You know, it seemed like they were just so surefire on it. And then just to turn around and be like, uh, you know what, maybe we'll course correct on it. Maybe it is a good idea. I mean, I don't know. I, it's, it's some things that are iffy about this with me. I'm not going to say that I think it's baloney. I'm going to say it's 50-50 with me. And if I had to choose, I would say... After reading the article, I would say I lean towards I believe it when I see it uh, kind of thing. Um, because it's a lot of stuff. I mean, that's a lot of things that they're really agreeing to. The only thing that I could see them um, changing their ways is, uh, is, is them seeing how good um, you know, the, uh, Zack Snyder's, uh, Justice League did, and how much fans reacted to it, uh, and the goodwill that come out of that, and seeing Phase 4 of the MCU's decline, maybe seeing, hey, uh, maybe this is our moment here. Maybe this is our moment where we can take that goodwill we can really, really stick it to Marvel. That's the only thing I can see. I mean, I really, that's the only way I see this absolutely happening. I mean, it just really is the only way I see this happening. I don't see, I just don't see the heads of, you know, DC just being like, we're changing our mind completely and totally. Unless they see an opening somewhere. But I don't see them seeing an opening with Henry Cavill. I don't know what it is about Henry Cavill. But I just don't think they want him at all. I don't think they've ever really wanted him. Um, for whatever reason, he's darn good Superman. I, I don't know why. But I don't see him, if this moves forward, I don't see him being Superman. I just don't. Anyways, let me know what y'all think. Do you think we could be getting a Justice League, you know, sequels, a Ben Affleck movie? I can see a Ben Affleck movie because I know at one time that was in the works. I can maybe see actually that maybe moving forward, Zack Snyder or not. I could see that maybe moving forward. Man of Steel 2, I could see that moving forward, Henry Cavill or not. I just don't necessarily see Henry Cavill moving forward with this, and I don't see the heads of DC changing their mind and Warner Brothers changing their mind so quickly about the Snyderverse like this so quickly. Unless they're seeing something behind the scenes that we're not seeing. Because they were dead set, hey, we're doing this for the fans, we're going to make a money grab for this, releasing really the same movie twice, um, and we're going to get all this goodwill, all this money off of it, and they got both, and it was a huge success. Uh, the Snyder Cut was a huge, huge success. So, I mean, it was a win-win for them. 
But man, even after that win-win, they were just like, you know, you just see in everything that they were saying, they were just wiping their hands clean. They're like turning the page still. Just letting y'all guys know we're still turning the page. I, I don't see them course correcting now. I really don't. But anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all take care.